Hey everybody, welcome to the Buddy Reviews. Today we're reviewing this Templar Gear dump pouch. As you see, there's a whole slew of magazines over here. Just, just don't mind those. Uh, we're going to get to those in a moment. So this dump pouch here came to me from Spain. Big ups to my homeboy for helping me out with that. I really appreciate it. Uh, you know who you are and you are awesome. So this is um, for my FG&E kit that I have that I've been, uh, I've done some videos on. If you're curious about what that is, a little card will pop up here in a second to links to some of the uh, videos I've done reviewing the FGD kit already. You can go check those out if you want. They're pretty cool. This dump pouch is fantastic. This is my first Temp Templar gear piece of gear that I've reviewed and had my hands on, and I'm very impressed, and I can't wait to get some more of their kit, seeing as how the FGD actually do run Templar gear stuff. Overall, very nice construction, 500D Cordura. You've got some pack cloth in here forming this little lip, which we'll talk about in a second. You've got laser cut Cordura on the rear for the attachment point. Very simple, easy to use, easy, easy to utilize. You've got some reinforced plastic back here for tucking in. You've got three loop points. You've got one back here, uh, one up here, and then one that's actually right there that that's on at the moment. This piece here is utilized to add security to the face of the dump pouch when you've got stuff in it like that. And it's also utilized to secure the dump pouch when it's rolled up like that as you can see. So it doesn't fold in on itself to make a really tiny a little box like some dump pouches do. Just kind of folds up like that. Not a bad, not a bad setup. Easy to deploy. Big grab handle here. Kind of like that. Really nice. Tucks away also cleanly when it's not in use. You got a shot cord grab pull back here. So that's going to activate this lip. So now you can kind of make a little bungee purposeful lip there. So I got a G36 mag. I want to get it in there. I'm not going to just drop it in, but you got to force it through. But that's good because now once it's in there, that's going to flop back out on you. No yard sales, which is fantastic. Uh, G36, just I can get six mags in here very, very comfortably. Once I start getting about four, I am going to have to kind of help them in. I have to purposely like guide them in with my hand. They're not just gonna fall in, but they will fit. Once when I have that done. Now, if I had this wide open, they would just drop right in. But that's six G36 bags. Reason that's kind of useful to know is that's the, the gun I'm running with the FGE kit. That's the older rifle that they did run. They use 416A5s now, so that means P mags and AR mags. AR mags, I can fit eight in here, which is kind of nice. This is the smaller dump pouch that they run, or that they make. They do make a slightly larger one. So if you're an AK mag guy, or an AK guy, you might want to get the bigger one because the AK mags are almost as tall as the dump pouch, and you can only fit about four in here comfortably. You can get six in, but it's a tight squeeze. Bottom of the dump pouch is this nice big mesh bottom instead of a grommet. This is cool. Uh, FG&E is an, a maritime unit. Um, I've spent some time on the water myself. I can tell you this is kind of neat having that ability to drain lots of water, especially if you already have the dump pouch deployed and you are going to be in and out of the water for any reason on a river like I was on. Uh, getting into the water with this already deployed is uh, going to suck if you have a tiny little grommet down there and you get a lot of water in there, especially if it's a silty, gross water because you could get a bunch of gunk in there and it's going to stop it from draining comfortably and easily. And then you're going to have to like kind of fish in there, get it cleared out, let all that water drain out. But that big giant footprint down there, that's going to drain really well. So that's kind of cool. Only concern I have is if that gets cut, well, the dump pouch is useless. But this stuff is pretty strong. It's going to take probably like an intentional cut with a knife or something to really cut it up and to make it where it would not work. I don't, I don't think they would have used that if it was a weak, a weakness or really easy to uh, abrase and cut open. So yeah, the overall definitely kind of cool, kind of a different approach to dump pouches that a lot of people have used in the past. I think this is a really nice dump pouch. I like where Templar gear was going with this. Uh, I'll show you the inside real quick. I like the taper. It's like a four panel taper, four panel setup. You got the front, rear and the sides. This is just the taper is just ever so slight. It's nothing massive, but you can see it's kind of got this little taper to it. And 
you can see how this little pack cloth area, that's where the shock cord is set up. And then it comes out the back, it goes, feeds out of itself, grommet to grommet, and then out. And then this area has got like a very stiff cord in here. I can't tell if it's shock cord or something else. Not quite wire, but it's it's very stiff. And that keeps the mouth very rigid and open. And I like that. Uh, all the seams on the inside are finished off with this, um, uh, what's this called? Uh, not pack cloth. It's binding tape. This black binding tape. So that's really nice. It's going to keep the, the uh, seams from getting gunked up or screwed up or uh, caught on by magazines because this is a dump pouch and that's a nice touch and it's very well done. All the stitching is really good on here. I don't see any crazy errant stitching or uh, messed up uh, stitch lines. No uh, tolerance issues. Very well constructed. Their label is even very small, unobtrusive, out of the way right there, Templar gear label. So you don't see big giant gaudy label up front to like showing off what it is to kind of like take away from the camouflage. Pretty cool pouch. I like it. I, really, I think it's a great design. I think it's a really nice product. It feels good. And I'm excited to get more stuff from them over the next few months to a year as I finish kind of modernizing my FGD kit. I hope you guys got something out of this. Thank you so much for watching. As you know, there's going to be little cards popping up here in a moment. There's going to be one in the left, left hand corner, right hand corner. And then over here in the bottom right hand corner will be a little helmet. That's the sub button. If you liked this content and you think this was a good video and you think you might be interested in this, I would love uh, for you to stick around and keep joining me in these reviews. So hit the sub if you want. That'd be kind of fantastic. And I would uh, just enjoy your, your patronage. The top left is going to be what YouTube recommends. It's going to probably be the most recent video. And the top right is going to be something that I think would be in line with what this con the content of this video was. And as always, Thank you so much. You guys are the best. I can't do this without you. Until next time, take care, LARP hard, and I'll see you hopefully on the field.